learning. The big idea we'll be looking at today is sports development. By the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of what sports development means and the purpose of sports development. What is sports development? Let's look at what sports development is and develop our understanding of what it means. Sports development, in its basic term, is development of a sport in either performance, so elite pathways, or participation, for example, for enjoyment or social settings. Examples include the FA and England netball. Can you name any others? Sports development can consist of lots of different roles, including officials, sports development officers and leaders. They all hope to work together in order to increase opportunities for people of all ages and abilities to take part in sport and physical activity. Why do we need sports development? Basically, so that sport develops. Sports development allows organisations to put programmes and plans in place to increase the number of people participating in a sport. This is so they have a wider pool of people to select from and improve their elite squads and athletes. Therefore, hopefully performing better at high level competitions such as the Commonwealth or Olympic Games. Sport can also have an impact on people's social and emotional well-being as well as their mental and physical well-being. Sports development aims to increase the opportunities for people to be active and improve their health. It aims to increase participation, decrease physical inactivity and therefore contribute to a healthier society. What is the purpose of sports development? The four main areas are 1. To increase participation. This could be for target groups such as females or target age groups, for example, teenage drop off. Two, progression in sport. So looking at the pathways in place from foundation right through to excellence in order to improve the level of elite competition. Three, promotion of values through sport. For example, fair play, teamwork, tolerance, respect, inclusion and citizenship. Lastly, support social policy, for example, anti-discrimination, crime reduction and health initiatives such as decreasing obesity. You now have a secure understanding of sports development and the purpose of sports development. Well done.